Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to another video on ANA Arnhem 44. Uh, this one is uh, yet another small correction to the um, to the rules for the polls. Um, the uh, designer notified me that initially he had he had thought that um, the way I explained it was good, but then he uh, had another look at it, and it turns out that if they drop south, and that hasn't actually changed, the drop zone is here. As you can see, I, I put a yellow circle in there, so it's easily identifiable, and nothing really changes. This is their drop zone, and they would have to obviously trace back to their own drop zone and everything for supply. Um, it's not true, though, that if they land north of the, um, of the river of the Lower Rhine, that, that they would share their drop zone with the British, it would actually be placed here in, in this hex. Now, in this particular case, uh, it's an ongoing game. If it were to drop here, then um, obviously it wouldn't work because it would be occupied with the Germans. So in this situation, they really wouldn't have any other choice but to place it there. But let's assume there weren't any Germans here. Then they would place it here, and uh, they would have to draw... Um, supply from this very uh, drop zone then uh, and if the British one were overrun obviously they couldn't be supported by any British artillery because in order to be able to attack and that includes artillery you need to be in supply in this particular case the Brits have also run out of um, ammo well they can still use it in this particular turn but uh, <clears throat> They don't have any lying next to them. They could, however, that is the poles, be supported by any uh, 30th Corps artillery that would be in range. But obviously they would have to be in supply in order to be able to attack themselves and everything. So um, so that's the uh, small difference there. But it could turn out to be a pretty significant one, so I thought it merited its own video. Thanks again for watching.